Bunch tight end is one of the best offenses year over year, and we're going to show you one of the best plays from it this year out of the run-heavy playbook. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to learn exactly how I run the Bunch tight end offense, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. So if you want to learn more about Bunch tight end, make sure that you join our Patreon at the link in the description to be able to get access to all of that material. All right, guys, super excited to do this video. We're going to be taking a look at Bunch Tight End specifically. Um, we're going to be looking at one of my favorite, favorite plays, and it doesn't require any hot rod abilities whatsoever. You don't have to have Hot Rod Master run this at a high level, and the play is Tight End Corner. Now, we, are, like I said, are in the run-heavy playbook. I believe this is the best playbook by far for the Bunch Tight End offense if you want to run it. It's what our ebook is on. And I really, really, really enjoy running this offense. Now, what we're going to be doing with this, actually super simple setup, and we're going to be able to attack man really well. We're going to be able to attack zone really well. And we're going to be able to attack the blitz really well. So real simple setup. All we're going to do with this is we're going to streak the left receiver or the outside left receiver. Uh, we're going to streak the tight end. And then we can either leave the running back on his blue route. We can block the running back. Or we can in route the running back. It's up to you. I like to in route the running back. It's going to give us kind of a shallow cross concept over the middle of the field. It's also going to provide us with a flat route uh, to kind of complete, quote unquote, our flood to the left side. Now, we know that short side floods are super, super good in this game. So if I run any zone of the game, it does not matter what the zone is. Um, like in this example, here's cover four. I'm going to base line. I'm going to press it. And what you're going to notice is this corner route to Watkins is going to beat this coverage 100% of the time. If they run zone, you're throwing the corner route almost every single time, unless they use it. Um, you are throwing this corner route until otherwise noticed. Uh, here's cover three. And what you're going to see, same basic thing. He goes with the street. I can throw that corner. Now there I threw it a little too early. Okay, but he's standing wide open saying, please throw me the ball against any zone coverage. It doesn't matter if it's if it's cover three, cover four, cover two. If you see zone coverage, you are throwing the corner out. I wish I could throw it at the right time, but you're throwing the corner out. Okay, you are throwing the corner out. You are throwing the corner out. You're throwing the corner out. Okay, you force them to respect your corner route, which I finally completed. <laughs> uh, force him to respect the corner route. It's the best route on the play by far. Um, it's one of the reasons we run the formation. Now, if they do run cover two, a lot of people really don't run cover two against bunch tight end. But if they do run cover two, cover two is pretty much broken this year. And what you're going to notice is that this cloud, if I high ball up and over the cloud, it's not going to play it. Now, you might say, well, Cody, that worked because you pressed the clouds. Everybody knows that you should never press a cloud under any circumstances, which I would agree with. You don't press clouds in this game. It, it really is not good. But even if they don't press this cloud flat, you're going to notice here that I can still high ball this up and over the top of the cloud flat's head, and we're going to dot up the cover too. So you can't run any, there's no no way that zone works on this unless you're playing true double Mabel coverage, which if they do that, you will nuke them and I'll show you why. So um, if they're playing double Mabel, chances are they're going to be in a cover two to do it. So they're going to have 30 yard clouds on both sides and then they're going to have two flat routes, uh, two flat zones, two underneath zones and then their user in the middle of the field, okay? If that's the case, then you're going to kill them because you can check down to your running back. They're going to have to use the running back right out of the gate. Um, so you can hit your running back right there. If you have time, you can wait and look at this Look at this post. Absolute laser over the top for a huge gain against that. Now, this post is so good. And if they go to the right side for any reason, if they go to the right side to stop the corner out, if they go under the middle to stop the, the, the running back, then you want to turn your attention to this post which is one of the best routes in the game because of how deep it how deep it is and how well it does uh, attack zone. So it's really good against man. It's, it's, it's great against man. It's good against zone. Um, now, you're not, in my opinion, you're not going to see a lot of cover four. But what you will see some of is cover three. And that's why we have this streak to the tight end. What you're going to notice is this streak to the tight end is going to clear out the space. 
and we're going to throw the ball right into that little pocket right there, and we're going to be able to attack cover three at a really, really high, high uh, success level. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is man coverage. You, uh, If you're like me, um, you've played a lot of man coverage this year. Uh, this play is very good against man coverage. Um, a couple things. First things first, this uh, this post is the main read. The post is the main read against man. The post is the route I want to throw against man. The post is the route that could give us probably the touchdown against man coverage. If you have short and elite on that post route, he will cook man coverage. Even if you don't have short and elite, he will cook man coverage. One of the most consistent man beaters in the game is that post. Um, you'll see here, here's, here it is again against man. You see yet again, with even without the tight end clear out, big time play against man coverage. Big time play against main coverage. So they basically have to, they basically have to go guard the post. Okay? So if they're going to go guard the post, now there's nobody on this corner route. And as long as it doesn't get bumped into Kansas, it's going to be wide open. Uh, a lot of people have stopped playing press man. Uh, I will say that if they do play press man, it's actually going to be in our benefit most of the time. Um, because watch what happens when this corner route gets pressed. Normally, he's not going to get so badly bumped, and he's going to get wide open just like that right there. Again, I don't have any route running abilities. If he has short and elite, we're talking a massive, massive difference in terms of the separation. He's going to get really consistent separation uh, with short and elite. Now, I do want to show you this. What if they are off coverage? Um, this is something that's becoming kind of popular uh, and something that I've been doing pretty much all year. I think press man is actually really bad. So what if they're not pressing you? Well, we already showed you the post route if they're not pressing you. Watch the corner route. The corner route's not as good, but what you can do is you can add the corner route and basically cut it off before the defender can actually make a play on it. So we'll show you this again here. Again, I'll just drop some zones. And you'll see here, free form outside, click on, and you see I'm able to add the corner route, okay? Um, so, you know, very fairly simple. If you have a route running ability, it's going to make it fairly consistent as well against man coverage. So if it's man coverage, you throw the corner route. If it's zone coverage, you throw the corner route. If they're using the corner route, you throw the post route. It's really that simple. This is one of the best plays in the entire game. I absolutely feel like this play is a very powerful passing concept because it attacks both man and zone as well as the, the entire field. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to get my full bunch tied in offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything. And so if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.